Hello and welcome to another Fusion Extreme Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to make you a plastic surgeon. We are going to give you the ability to be a plastic surgeon on your, on your images. The first thing we want to do, I want to go ahead and create a background copy here. Now if you're not familiar with how to create a background copy, please go ahead and take a look at our Basics of Layers tutorial. That will give you a little insight there. But we're going to go ahead and work on this image and help her we're going to slim her down and do a couple of things to her by using the liquify tool. That's under filter, liquify. And it brings up a dialog box with the image in it. And you have several different tools going down the side here. The forward warp tool is the first one we're going to go ahead and use. Click on that and you come down here. Now what this does, and I will show you right here in the water. If you see what this does, this just literally just smudges, stretches over, everything that you're working with. You can do lots of things with it. Now, that's great. How is that going to help you uh, with a model? Well, it's pretty simple. Like, 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 let's look at this leg here, right here. Let's say we want to thin down this leg. Well, we pay attention. Do you see the lines in the water, the striations, the waves in the water? We want to make sure we're moving in conjunction with those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click. I'm going to go ahead and smudge in just a little bit and smooth her out. This is how you can thin out a model using the liquify tool. Now you have to be careful when, especially when you start working with uh, a lot of patterns or a lot of things going on because you can mess up uh, the look of the image like we did over in the water over here. You can mess that up. Um, so now what we're going to do uh, I want to go ahead and work on this leg now, the water over here is a little more intricate and detailed. You see how it's got the reflection of the light in it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this tool right here. It's this little brush at the top of these two, um, th these two tools. It says the Freeze Mask tool. I'm going to click on that. And what this does is this will freeze the area that you paint over. Everything I'm painting over here will not be able to move when I use the smudge tool on it or the right here I'll show you we've gone right up against her leg now if I come here back to this smudge tool or um, the, this little finger up in the top corner forward warp tool I can come over here and I can move her leg in like this and look I can't mess up this part of the water no matter what I do okay now you, again you have to you have to be paying whoops I went too far there I'm going real quick here because of the tutorial. I'm not being extremely precise, but you're getting the idea. Now, what this does is this mask, this red mask that's on here. Now, actually, do you see if you follow the line, see how it dips down here? I've messed that up a little bit. It's easy to fix. You just have to correct. You just smudge back up just a little bit, and you're correcting the issue. It takes a little bit of work. It's a problem with going too fast, um, but you can correct the problem and move on. Now, um, what you can do here, this is the opposite here, whereas this freezes that area under the red, this will do the exact opposite. This will thaw an area and will make it to where only that area can be worked on. Instead of this, where you can't smudge this area, if I were to paint here with that tool, it would say that's the only area that can be smudged. Okay, but this is not all you can do here. Let's take a look at her hips here. Let's say we want to go ahead and work on her hips some. What I can do, again, I'm going to go pretty fast here um, for the sake of the tutorial, but you can drag in. you got to keep it nice and smooth. If you don't keep it smooth, her, her skin's going to look rough and bumpy. But you drag in and you give her a little bit of shape here. You can also enhance her just a little bit here. if that's your sort of thing. <laughs> and uh, then when we come over here, now what will happen here, if I start to try and smudge in between here with a brush this size, it's going to drag her arm with it. You see how that messes everything up right there? So what I want to do is go back right over here and let's freeze her arm to make sure her arm stays nice and safe to where I'm not messing with it. 
I'm going to come back in here, the smaller brush, I'm going to come back in here, whoops, back up here, and now I'm going to go ahead and work on her hair, thin her out a little bit. I do little bits, don't try and do too much all at one time. This tool right here, the bloat tool, the bloat tool is a wonderful thing if you're not using it on the stomach. You don't want to use it on the stomach <laughs> for obvious reasons. What you want to do, if you're careful and you do it right, you can make someone very happy by using the bloat tool in certain other areas. So um, that is a way to use your liquify tool. Here's what the image looked like previously. And here's what it looks like now. Again, here is the old, and here is the new. Old and new. And there you go. You see how we've thinned her out. I hope this tool has helped you. hope this tip has helped you. Thank you for, watch for listening to and watching another Fusion Extreme Photoshop tutorial.